Crews in Cottonwood are searching for a 16 year old who was swept away by floodwaters Saturday night. So we've been showing you the drone views this morning. Ian has now arrived in Cottonwood. So Ian, we want to check in with you. Obviously, this is an unfolding situation and we know that now that you know it's, it's sunlight, they're going to start looking again in these waters. Is it safe to do so? What have you been able to hear and when do you think we're going to get more updates? Good morning, Olivia. We just arrived on scene here. We're off of the 260. If you're familiar with town, if you kind of head west, it's past the Carl's Jr. There's a road here, El Camino Real. It is where this all took place after several inches of heavy rain. The wash started moving and Saturday night, now there was not one, but there was several, uh, uh, five of what I've heard, water rescues in the area. And one of them was Faith Moore, that 16 year old girl you mentioned. Her car swept off of the road into the wash and now hundreds of people are looking for this young woman. They started Saturday night. They had to kind of put the hold, uh, put the uh, search on hold for a bit because there was still a lot of problems with uh, danger out there with the uh, wash running. So they were searching Saturday, they were searching Sunday, and they started again when the sun came up. A lot of volunteers, people in the community, um, local officials, federal officials, they're trying to get the National Guard to help out with it. There's several drones they've been using to scour this area to try to find this woman. Uh, and what... Uh, try to piece together what happened. There were some belongings found in the wash that did uh, belong to her, a cell phone and some other belongings. I just uh, talked briefly with uh, her grandfather and we're going to get you some of what he said in a bit, but he said he was numb. He can't really process what is going on. The family, uh, absolutely heartbroken, uh, nauseous, uh, confused, so many emotions as they're trying to figure out uh, what happened, where their daughter is, where their beloved daughter who they said just had a wonderful soul and was so outgoing. Uh, they've just been working tirelessly, a lot of them uh, in agony as this is unfolding in their small, tight-knit community. I was chatting with uh, a gentleman. He owns Christopher Meals in town. It's a food delivery service. It's the uh, Dobrowalski family. And he was saying that they're this is just gut-wrenching. A lot of the folks who have been volunteering are doing so between jobs, taking time away from their families to try to help this family. And he said uh, in a text to me, he says he would like to offer $3,000 in cash to anyone who can help bring this family peace, whether that is this uh, woman turns up or in the worst case scenario, they do end up finding a body. So that is a $3,000 uh, reward, I guess, if you will, from Christopher Meals and the uh, uh, Dobrowski family. I might be messing that name up, but I just got that text. But he's trying to help this family get, we don't want to use closure, that's not the word uh, that we would use yet because uh, they're still searching for her and uh, it just shows how close this community is. We're going to uh, hear from law enforcement shortly here. They're going to have a press conference at 9 a.m. where we're going to get some more information on the federal resources, but uh, resources from around the area are all out here combing through uh, debris, trying to find something, more evidence to uh, get some more answers uh, mm -hmm. to what has happened here. Just absolutely tragic to think that when the call came in, this young woman made the call saying she needed help. The water was about two feet, and then the reports are that it uh, rose to about seven, maybe eight feet high in this wash. And not just water, we're talking possibly boulders and large trees and other things like that rolling through the wash and just an awful, awful situation. And she wasn't the only one in it. Um, several other water rescues were happening that night, uh, all at the same time.